Hey there guys, it's Chris, your favorite digital marketing nerd. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to add multiple locations to your Google My Business profile. Or sometimes people ask me, you know, how do I add a second location to my Google My Business profile? And I'm gonna show you how. And I, this is gonna be a really fast process. I'm gonna give you the gist of it. And then I'm gonna give you some tips and tricks because you gotta be very careful with this because a lot of businesses are getting in trouble by doing this the wrong way. So. First of all, what you want to do is log into your Gmail account and make sure it is the Gmail account that is attached to your Google My Business profile. If you click over here on the right avatar, this is going to show you all your Gmail Google accounts. You want to make sure that you are in the right account or else you're going to go to the wrong uh, business profile. So click on this, these dots over here, and these are the icons in which Google you know, like uh, shows you where you are and using all this stuff. Click on the business profile manager. See over here on the right, right here where my mouse is. So we're going to click on that and uh, wait till it loads for a second. I'm going to copy this. It opened a new window, so I got to just do this. Please bear with me, guys, because I am streaming. Like I said, I'm going to show you how to do this, how to add multiple locations to your Google My Business profile. And then I'm going to give you some tips or tricks on how not to get banned because this does happen to some people. And uh, a little a little word to the advice, listen to what I'm saying because I do this like full time. And uh, if this overwhelms you at any time, you can hire me and I'm a really cheap digital marketer full time. I have my own one person agency. I'm pretty cheap. You can consider hiring me. There'll be a link in the description. Okay, no more self-promotion guys. So what we wanna do here is we want to, this, is, this should be your Google My Business profile. And this may look different because uh, this just changed interfaces. So a lot of all the old videos, even from like last year, they look entirely different. That's uh, why I'm doing this video because they just changed this interface and a lot of people are in the learning process of this. So, all right, back to the business here. So this should be it right here. You can see your performance, edit profile, add photos, all this stuff. And this is my marketing agency, if you are wondering. Um, I haven't added any photos yet. Um, yeah, we're going to get to that. So right here, see right where my mouse is. If you click on these three dots right here, click on that and it should say, add a new business profile. And a lot of people get confused in this process. So please bear with me and it opened a new window again. Um, please bear with me. So what we're going to do here is, uh, it says type your business name in, and this is going to be the exact name of the business you already have. Do not change it whatsoever. The, the business name has to be the same name like uh, like per character. So do not change it because we're doing multiple locations on your Google My Business profile. So what you want to do here in this instance, this is Min Media Marketing. And this is going to be the same name as it. And uh, what we're going to do here, guys, is we are going to go through the process of creating an entire, like a whole new Google My Business profile listing. Except you have to be careful here. See, it says here, this is the business name. It has to be the same. And listen carefully here, the business category, you need this to be the same exact thing is what your core Google My Business profile category is. So do not change it because... That is Google's biggest red flag and what they're using to kind of ban a lot of these accounts. You got to know a lot of companies are trying to like, like fake these listings and they're getting tons of results doing it, honestly. So uh, what we're going to do here is just go through the whole process. I think it's a marketing agency. Yeah. So we just go through this entire process, like uh, as if you were to add a, an entire new business, my profile or Google my business profile. Sorry. It gets so old saying this. Okay. And if you don't have like a physical address, you're going to click no here. Like if you are a contractor, like a plumber, uh, if you're just like, if you don't want people showing up to your physical address, this is what you're going to have to click. And it's no, um, I do. So that kind of sucks for me. Right. And then what we're going to do here is enter a different address. This is where you got to listen carefully here. Um, the really the only things that are different, uh, that the name of your business has to be exactly the same. And secondly, the category, the main category has to be the same, but the address and everything else can be different. And a lot of people ask me about the website. What you want to do with the website is make a, a, a sub page on the website that is kind of like, um, aimed at that location. I'll give you an example here. And I'm, I'm kind of rambling here, but I think this is really going to benefit you because this is what I do. Um, 
say say if the business profile is about drain cleaning in Milwaukee, you know, what you want to do is go back to your main website and create a sub page, like a page, a normal page, and, and have it be about drain cleaning in Milwaukee and have the website from the Google My Business profile linked to that page because you're going to get a huge boost from doing that. Because if you just link to the homepage of your website, uh, usually that's targeted if it's a local business website. Usually it's targeted with like a, a certain city name. What you want to do is have the city name in the title. That's what I'm trying to tell you. So hopefully this makes sense. Um, what we're going to do here is just go through the entire process of creating the 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 my Google business profile. And like I said here, um, the name is going to be the same. The subcategory has to be the same, but everything else can be different. And as far as the, the, the web the website, you should do a sub page. Like I told you, hopefully this makes sense. It's really easy, guys. All you have to do once you fill it out is um, they send you the, the normal Google My Business Profile postcard. It, co it comes in a couple days with a pin to verify your business profile, and then it's verified. Really, the only thing you can screw up is like trying to um, falsify your address. You know, there's a lot of there's a lot of businesses that they're trying to capitalize on, you know, by using employees addresses. And, you know, that's kind of the gray area here. You know, if you're a contractor and you contract that service area, that that's OK. But if you work at like uh, Home Depot, this is just an example. Don't sue me, Home Depot. But if you work at Home Depot you can't be using your, you know, your employee's address that lives three cities away. You know what I mean? That's just an example. But a lot of businesses are capitalizing in doing this and especially service-based businesses. I didn't say this, but uh, service-based businesses, because they get such a wider reach by using like a, a more, a more spread of like addresses, because if you can have multiple locations, obviously you're going to get tons more business because you're going to show up when people search for it. All right, guys, um, hopefully this video helped you on learning how to add multiple locations to your Google My Business profile. Um, consider hiring me. I do this full time. There'll be a website link below, or you can just click um, on the YouTube page and just uh, schedule a meeting. I do, uh, I do cost money, though, because I do get a lot of people asking for help for free. I do cost money. So adding a second location to your Google My Business profile. All right, guys, I will see you in the next one. Have a nice day.